Ariel, Anti-Dawn, EP, let's chat about it. Hey guys, what's going on? John here from One Spinning Hit, and I chat about this latest EP from iconic manipulator of sound and creator of world, mysterious producer known only as Burial, who back in 2006 had all eyes turned towards him in the electronic music world, mostly due to his debut album that was self-titled as well as Untrue. Mostly, this is due to his approach of very atmospheric, very monochromatic dubstep. And no, this is far from uh, the massive DJ drops of other dubstep artists. No, this was expansive, gloriously textured, and atmospheric. Not only that, but almost absurdly human and emotional. His debut really caught me off guard. That goes double for Untrue. I mean, there is a reason that this album is still being felt to this day. It is a masterclass in sound play. Now, outside of that, uh, Burial, as far as a full album goes, has been quiet since Untrue. However, he has remained very active, actually, in the way of a slew of EPs and singles over the last few years. They sort of started drifting slowly away from dubstep and more into an ambient direction, but he compiled all of them on his Tunes 2011 to 2019 compilation, which, yeah, it's long. It's almost three hours long, but if you want to catch up with the guy, uh, it's your best bet. And like I said, I mean, it runs the gamut between atmospheric dubstep to more ambient work, even some sound collage work. Not only that, but the guy stops the internet every time he puts out a selfie. Now, I am late with this review. I am very late with this review. But I felt the need to touch down on this EP when I had the time, which I do right now. Because uh, this is the longest set of tunes we have gotten since his classic Untrue. This EP is five tracks, but they run over 40 minutes long, which is... A lot of material from Burial. Let's chat about this thing. This EP starts off with Strange Neighborhood, and eh, it's okay. I mean, to be honest, I think it's a little underwhelming of a way to start off this EP, even though he gives this track plenty of room to grow over its 10-minute runtime. And listen, Burial has been putting out ambient tunes for the better half of a decade now. That's not my issue here. My issue really is, is I feel like his music has had a lot more purpose than this. It's much more focused at the end of the day. This just does not feel like that. And listen, if you know Burial's work, you would know that you need to give him space to really craft his world. You know, bring in some of the emotions of his music, especially if it costs 10 minutes. This just doesn't feel up to the hype. It sounds like a no-name ambient producer trying to sound like Burial. Even the samples that he brings in here don't seem to lead up to some big picture, which his music usually does. This EP is not my favorite burial release. Also, Upstairs Flat as a finale here is not that much better. I hear this and I genuinely think it's just too much. There's no mystery here. You know, Burial used to, you know, make you wait for a few minutes, but the final thoughts of his music always ended up being worth the wait. And here, I don't get that. I genuinely have nothing to say about this as a finale, and that's heartbreaking. Uh, now, I will say this. Uh, those are two of the longer tracks on here, making up a bulk of this EP, but I will say this. The rest of this EP here, you know, you're still gonna want to hear. If Whether you're just a longtime burial fan or you like ambient stuff, it's still pretty good in parts. Like this EP's title track, anti Dawn. This is a really compelling tune. I love how alien this comes off, how desolate it is. Like the production here is great. Like just hearing some of this sound play in action really brings me back. It's just so quiet, so desolate, like I said, but it's so easy to get lost in. And when we get this sort of release in the file couple of moments, or the closest thing to a release, it is just euphoria. It really ends up being pretty bright and oddly life-affirming, too. This is where I aim to feel with Burial's music. It's actually really stunning. As far as a straight ambient tune goes, Shadow Paradise is fantastic. As a matter of fact, I think it's the best track here. I love the sound play here. Once again, the production is fantastic. Like, the sheer soundscape of this track is absolutely breathtaking and I feel like this is one of the more visual tunes here as well. 
vocal snippets are on point. This atmosphere is just so dreary and chilling. And I love the way that this track progresses as well, adding element by element, piece by piece. You know, bringing together these thoughts to make a cohesive one. This is where I need to hear Burial's music. It's miraculous, really. It reminds me of where he came from. And the sound play elements and sound collage elements of New Love, you gotta respect the hustle on this. Truthfully, also, this is probably the closest thing to an accessible track here. It's one of the more straightforward tracks here. I mean, if you're not into Burial's music... I mean, don't, don't start on this EP, but this track is probably the easiest to take in. It's also the easiest world to access. The layers of synths, the very dreary atmosphere, I, I live for this. I mean, yeah, it's a little more immediate than I personally like, but it's still really good. I guess my final thoughts on this new EP from Burial is, it's safe. I mean, when I heard on paper this is the longest set of a string of tracks that he's come out with since untrue i you know stopped everything that i was doing and i wanted to hear more of it right away that's just you know that's what that made me feel and then i show up to the table and half of this ep is really good and reminds me of what burial is capable of and the other half uh seems kind of safe and sounds like maybe another electronic artist you know pulling from burial stuff it's okay it's okay it it's fine i mean the good certainly outweighs the bad, but I personally was expecting a lot more here. I'm feeling like a very, very light 7 on this EP, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.